back live here inside Kensington Palace. So majestic here with none other than Barbara Walters. Ah, none other than. Good, Good to morning. see you again, yes. Barbara. This is the, we keep saying, it's the former home of Princess Diana. Well, if we want to be accurate, she did not live in this ornate part, which was open to the public. Actually, her area was a series of townhouses and very un ornate, they are closed to the public and they're, they're next to each other. That is, this would be hers. Next to her was um, Prince Michael and Princess Michael of Kent, the king's, uh, mm -hmm. the queen's cousin. Princess Margaret one day was, uh, at one time was her neighbor. And when we had lunch there, because I was fortunate enough to have lunch with her, I remember the living room was painted yellow. We had lunch in the dining room where she complained that her in-laws thought she was unstable. Shortly after that, the couple were divorced. So Kensington Palace has happy and unhappy memories. Sadly, most of us remember the mountains of flowers and notes and cards that blanketed its lawn. Vivid, unforgettable images in the days after Diana's death that 14 years have not totally erased. For it was the residence of the world's most famous single mother inside an apartment that was the home for her, Prince Harry, and the future king, Prince William. How did Princess Diana teach William about royalty and what it meant to be royal? Of course, Princess Diana had her own interpretation of what it meant to be royal. She could be very royal, but she was also a modern and, and emotionally articulate woman. Could I ask you to respect my children's space? Yes, sir. As a parent, I want to protect the children. Thank you. She fiercely guarded her children's privacy. Kensington Palace, in the heart of one of London's busiest neighborhoods, was the one safe haven from the rest of the world, though she was often spotted in restaurants and shops with the princes, even taking them to McDonald's. They went to the public places. They went shopping. They went to the grocery store. And Diana also took them to meet the homeless and people afflicted with disease. Did Prince Charles object or was he okay with the boys' mothers taking them to homeless shelters and hospitals? I didn't hear anybody object. And it, to be fair, the princess did it in a very sensitive way. It was uh, an occasional bit of real life experience she wanted them to have. And her real life experience included her sometimes leaving the palace to meet reporters the result, the dramas of her life and crumbling marriage were splashed into newsprint all over the world. She would meet them in cars to pour out her heart to them. And then it was in the papers next day. It was also in 1995 inside Kensington Palace that she secretly recorded her famous television interview with Martin Bashir, then of the BBC. But the first time the world heard her secrets in her own voice from her own home. I desperately wanted to work. I, I desperately love my husband. And I wanted to share everything together. And I thought that we were a very good team. The taping was done privately. The camera crew was snuck through a back door. It took a long time to understand why people were so interested in me, but I assumed it was because my husband had done a lot of wonderful work leading up to our marriage and our relationship. But then, I, during the years, you see yourself as a good product that sits on a shelf and sells well. Oh my, and Barbara, that interview led to the end of the marriage. It, let me share a few things with you, um, because she had her secrets. This is a letter, a little card that she sent to me. It says, Kensington Palace, November 14th. And in it, she says, I look forward to our having lunch. That's the lunch that I talked about. We did indeed have that lunch. She never mentioned to me that six days later was going to be this now famous or infamous. She even said she would do the next interview with me. <laughs> Okay. That's so, another story. <laughs> that's a different story. So after this, the Queen wrote to her and Prince Charles and said, that's it, you have to get divorced. But then and you were did. And then a year a later, card. this was the Christmas card. Look, I love it, it has William and Harry and their cousins, the uh, daughters of uh, Prince Andrew, Eugenia and Beatrice. It's like any card that, you know, that the family would send out, isn't it, with the pictures of the kids? I love that picture especially, Barbara, because it's like a picture you'd have up on the refrigerator. Yeah. You know, it's just everyday life. Happy memories, mm -hmm. unhappy memories from this place. Well, you always leave the happy memories for us, Barbara. Thank you. We'll be looking for you throughout the week. Thanks Thank for you. sharing that okay. with us.